Hello beautiful people, what is up? I'm Cassie and this is my second channel. You should check out my my booktube channel down below too if you're interested in talking about books. Wow, today I want to talk about how I maintain my busy as fuck schedule because it's crazy. The end of the year is coming so my schedule is going to lighten up with the end of the school year. It's ending in two more weeks. I am stressed. I wanted to talk about like how do I work full time and go to school and have two YouTube channels and also socialize and also go to the gym and try to eat healthy and the list goes on. Firstly, the key to maintaining a busy schedule is writing shit down. I for one at least, I don't know about you, but I forget a lot of things and so I will forget about you <laughs> if I don't write things down. So I have two different places I write things down and I also just bought a new planner. I'm gonna go get it. I got my planner talk about this in a second but even saying I only write things down in two places it's actually untrue I also have a whiteboard planner that sits right on the entrance and exit of my house that I walk past it every single day when I leave and it gives me an overview of the different things like birthdays I put if we're going on any trips I put if I have any presentations or finals or tests or anything like that on there and I put my work schedule up there because my work schedule does change so it's not a set like nine to five every day Monday through Friday job it's it is set, but it changes. I also, in my planner, which I just bought a new 2020 planner, in this planner, I also write down my, my work schedule. So I'll show you an example. I'll show you December because it's not talked, it's not written in yet. So in my planner, I have all of the birthdays, which have little balloons. And then in red, I like to write my exams. I also write down if anybody's coming to visit or if we're going out of town or anything. And then that's the base, so that's what we start with. I also write down if I have doctor's appointments, if I'm hanging out with my friend, if I have a plan to go to Disneyland, and I write down my YouTube schedule on here so I have which video I want to go up when. In the weekly section, I have to-do lists that write down, do I need to go to the gym that day, which is five days a week, so I write down the word gym, I write down if I'm hanging out with people, I write down if I have uh, appointments for anything, I have. I write down if I have tests or quizzes or anything due, I write down if I need to call someone, like make an appointment for something, all of that gets written down as well. And I also put in what day am I going to film. Planners are important. This one is so exciting, I'm so ready for a new planner. For some reason, that is one of my favorite things. So this planner has two little uh, ribbons so one for the month and one for the week we're on the week has like a part for a scheduling and then also a part for to-do list and I think I'm actually gonna switch that so that the little one is my scheduling and the big one is my to-do list so I can write more and then there's also a notes and next week section in the monthly I'll treat that similarly in here they also have notes for each month budgeting for each month a lot of different things so I'm very excited to try out this planner. The thing that I use this for though is the more details. So for here is really where I use it for YouTube and for my habit tracking which is kind of two different things and habit tracking is more for me and like do I drink alcohol that day? Do I go to the gym that day? Do I eat like healthy and calorie count versus just mindful eating depending on the month? Do I post on YouTube? Do I finish a book? Stuff like that. But I also write down all of my, because I make booktube videos, I also write down my whole TBR for the month, my books that I want to read, and if I finish them, the star rating, all of the st stats that I put in those videos. I have video planning sections, so this is where I have all of the videos that I want to film, and then I have a section for did I film it, did I edit it, did I upload it, and then I also, if I need space to like write grocery lists, which this new planner is really nice because it has grocery lists in it that are perforated and I can take them out. But uh, I use this for grocery shopping, I use this for packing planning, like for our trips, what do I need to pack, stuff like that, make sure I don't forget anything because like I said, I'm a forgetful person. So the key to my organization is writing everything down. I am a person who likes to be busy. I like my day very structured, so on my to-do list or on my schedule for the day. I have it written out. Okay, 7 to 3 p.m. I'm at work. Then from 3 to 4 I can go to the gym. From 4 to 5 I'm traveling to school and from 5 to 9.30 I'm at school. 
I plan out what days of the week am I going to do my homework? What days of the week do I have a quiz due for my online class? All of that stuff is all very structured and written down because if I don't write it down, I will fail. So that is really the key to organization for me. As far as like making the time, I think it's really important to recognize how much time do you really need for these independent things. Uh, I'm going to use the gym for an example because that's a really common one that people say, oh I just don't have time to go to the gym. I don't know how you have time to do that. And the fact of the matter is that even if you're going to the gym for a whole hour, and that's a lot of time, a whole hour for five days a week, that's five hours. There are 24 hours in a day, one hour is all you need to go to the gym. and. If you really think about where can you fit that in, I'm sure there's time. Do you need to get up one hour early on one day or do you need to make sure you leave work on time so that you can go right after work before you go wherever you're going next? Is it just that you need to skip one hour of a Netflix show in order to go to the gym? So these different things, you have to, really it's more about prioritizing and making sure that you are making the time for all of these things that you want to get done. Mondays and Wednesdays for example usually what my schedule looks like is from 7 to 3 I go to work and then I have an hour of free time before I need to travel to school. Take Going to school takes a whole hour and then I'm at school from 5.30 in class I need to get there about 15 minutes ahead of time to be on time because I gotta walk from the parking lot and blah 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 all the way to 9.30 so the only time I have to go to the gym that day is that hour in between. Sometimes that hour though is necessary to get something else done. Maybe I need to post a video. Maybe I need to do a quiz for my online class. There are various things that sometimes do take priority, but that hour of time is useful. Some days for me that hour is spent just reading with my extra free time. It depends on the day. Don't forgo your mental health or your need for self-care in order to do the thing you think you need. For me, the gym is self-care most of the time um, and so I want to go to the gym. But especially at the beginning when I wasn't really wanting to work out but I knew I needed to work out or was trying to make that habit, that was more about okay I need to stick to the schedule. I need to write down in my in my journal, in my planner, every single day that I want to go to the gym. The gym is at the top of the list and it's very exciting for me when I get to check it off and say that I went. Make to-do lists. That's a big one too. Make your to-do list every single day and include the things that you have to do every single day. Do you have to go to the gym? Do you have to write a discussion post every Monday, Wednesday, Friday for a class? Even it, though it's scheduled and the same every time, write it down on your to-do list because it's really exciting to get to tick that off. Do you need to edit a video? Do you, what are the things you need to do? Do you need to pick your kid up from school? Like, write that on your to-do list. It's fine, write it because it feels great to say, yes, I did that. Some things that I write on my to-do list is doing my nails. Like, doing my nails is on my to-do list. I need to do it today. Those are the really big advice for having a busy schedule and fitting it all in. You have the time. You have to prioritize what you need to put in that time. But everybody has the same amount of time in their lives. Everyone has 24 hours in a day. Everybody needs eight hours of sleep. Everybody needs to eat. Everybody needs all of these things. And not everybody finds the time for it, but everybody has it. So the, the job for you, the work that you have to do, is figuring out how to prioritize and how to not procrastinate, which is another video I want to make on procrastination because trust me, been there, done that, still do it sometimes. I did it today. I need to film a exam that is due at the start of my class tonight, still haven't done it, asked my friend to cover my shift today because I didn't have the time because I procrastinated and that's a whole different part and it is important when talking about how do you keep your schedule maintained is don't procrastinate in general but sometimes it happens it gets the best of us you gotta make sure that you maintain your organization so that you can have the time because if you're so to speak wasting your time doing something you don't need to do and then saying oh I didn't have time to do the thing I need to do well yes you did you just didn't prioritize it over whatever you wanted to do and sometimes what you need to do is sit and watch five hours of Netflix. Those days are necessary too, but they're not necessary every day. That's my advice for maintaining a busy schedule. Recognize when you need a break too. 
make sure you know what sick days you have or paid time off you have or whatever and utilize those. Um, don't overwork yourself. Stick to what you can handle and build upon it. Don't go from zero to 60 in a week. It won't work. You will fail and then you'll feel like it's impossible. But if you build upon, okay, right now I'm working full time and I really want to go back to school. Okay, so I'm going to start with taking one class this semester, this coming semester, and see what I what I can handle. Okay, that wasn't too hard, so now I'm going to go part-time and go six units. Okay, that wasn't so hard, so now I'm going to go full-time. Or maybe six units is enough. Okay, now I feel like I'm maintaining this. Now I really want to add going to the gym. Don't go five days a week yet. Go two. See if you can go. Which days can you put it in? Can you put it in two days a week and where? Okay, two days a week is working, so now let's try four and five, or three, four, and then five. Okay, now you're doing the gym. Now you're going to school. Now you're working full time. What else did you want to add to it? Do you want to do your hobby? What is your hobby? Mine is filming, making YouTube videos, but you might have something else. Do you like to draw? Do you like to take pictures and do photography stuff? Maybe you can incorporate those two things, those things in with whatever else you're doing. Do you need to take a, pho a random photography class when you're going to school? Maybe you can do that so that you have a reason to do your hobby while doing school. Think about those things. That's my advice to you. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up you if you did. And make sure to subscribe. I'm trying to post every Friday and Sunday on this channel. And I post every Thursday and Saturday on my booktube channel. So if you like reading books, you should check that channel out as well. And I will see you guys very soon with another one. I love you all. Bye.